I'm Daffy Good. Thanks for joining us on the program. We are on the very busy Island Highway between the North Cowichan Municipal Hall and Chimanus, where there is a lot going on, including a brand new skate park. Thanks for joining us on Go Island. On today's show, focus on a new era in Chimanus. The Cowichan pipes and drums get ready for a trip to China healthy living, and a lot more on Go Island. <music> Mayor John Lefebure recognizes the skaters who've been on it for weeks. The official opening of the Chimena Skate Park happened last Friday with youth, dignitaries, and donors. Uh, we're with the Chimena's Rotary Clubs, and we have a check for $5,000 to give to the municipality to support the youth of Chimena. So good luck and enjoy and have a great time with this uh, marvelous facility. Under budget at just over $300,000, the mayor was keen to acknowledge the broad community support. Uh, thank you to Mark Vanderzam and Associates for the terrific design. Uh, New Line Skate Parks, your work has been outstanding. We have gone through what seems like a countless series of community meetings, meetings with youth. Uh, I'd like to mention the Shamanus Neighborhood House, and Arlene is here today, and I'd personally like to thank her and the kids at the Neighborhood House. They raised over $5,500 many years ago for this facility. They believed in it, they worked hard, and they raised money. Uh, he, our Parks and Rec Director, Ernie Mansweti, kept faith, so it took a community to make this skate park happen. And I want to thank everybody who was involved. One, two, three, yay! Awesome! And after looking at several sites, Mayor and Council finally settled on an open space near the high school. It's uh, six years ago now, I went and talked to the school when they still owned this piece of property. And I was actually turned down on a, on a plan to lease this property and build a skate park and look after it. But times changed. Uh, this land, which we had given to the school for school purposes, was not, no longer being used for school purposes, so it reverted to us. We, and that was about three years ago and we went into our final process of consultation and said, look, this has to be the location. And it just came together. We're gonna to have some trees here, we're gonna have benches. This, this is going to be a new community park. Not far from the skate park, more improvements have taken place, just a short distance away in downtown Chimanus. This is where the buses used to line up, but it's so much nicer now. You can just rest, relax, enjoy the area. Well, after years and years of searching, the Shimena skater community now have their own park. And it was well worth the wait, as Kevin Chirac reports next. Here we are now in one of the beautiful new spaces, a great public space, lots of uh, benches to enjoy, have a sit, have a visit, enjoy the sunshine, and there's lots of walkable areas as well. Next on the program, one guy, two chairs, and a bunch of shamaniacs. Dan Kahn came to Shimanus to find out why people love it here so much. Coming up, We'll get details on Shimanus improvements to take place in the immediate future and up to 10 years down the road. And who plays the bagpipes? There have been big plans for Shimanus over the last several months. And we thought to find out all about this revitalization, I'd come to North Cowichan Municipal Hall, where I'm going to talk to a member of the planning department. Scott Mack brings the Shimanus revitalization plans with him to tell us more about the changes that have taken place downtown. Uh, so Waterwheel Square was a, um, the first project that's really come out of completion of the, the broader Shimanus uh, downtown uh, revitalization plan. Um, it, Waterwheel Square is obviously a key priority. Um, it was an important project that we wanted to um, take some action on. 
Um, and so as a result of significant consultation and receiving council support, we were able to move forward with the completion of the project. Great. So could you show us the highlights? Certainly. Um, there was a number of sort of key aspects and, and elements we wanted to ensure uh, we were able to address in the plan. Um, one of the keys was to, to try and create um, some, some dedicated uh, public gathering spaces and, and plaza areas. Uh, previously, this entire area was a parking lot, mm -hmm. and while it was very well utilized, it was a, a pretty uh, stark, pretty barren environment. And so we really wanted to create something that was, was more inviting, more pedestrian friendly, um, and had a sort of an enhanced uh, level of vegetation and, and public access opportunities. So just show me where those areas are, more green space and seating and so on, Scott, please. Certainly. So the seating is sort of in these areas here and in front of the museum and then some significant seating features down at the intersection and, and along Willow Street as well. And I see you had in the plans proposed path to Old Town. Yes, so what we were trying to achieve there was uh, reinforcing the connection between um, this area of the downtown down towards the Old Town area mm -hmm. um, and Maple Lane, given that there are some important uh, community functions in that area as well. Hmm. Now, I know that there was a major imprint with the murals. This takes Chaminas into uh, a new era, really, doesn't it? Uh, it does in a lot of ways, yeah. You know, the, the, the murals uh, go back and they've been a, a very important part of the community for, for many years now. Um, the theatre um, uh, over the last number of years has also become an important element, um, but we did feel that there was an opportunity and a need to, to look at uh, refreshing some of our infrastructure and, and trying to create some uh, additional uh, focal points to try and draw and continue to draw people into the community. Well, we've had a lot of uh, real positive feedback from the community. Again, there was challenges in getting to the point where we could go forward with the plan because of the, the different interests of the different groups that we had to deal with. Right. Uh, but, but I do feel that we came up with a plan that, that met everybody's needs and, and as I said I think we've had a lot of real positive feedback so I'm hopeful that it will be a, an important space for the community moving forward. At the Chimena Skate Park, North Cowichan and Mayor Lefebure outlines the revitalization goals. We wanted it to be multi-use so we retained uh, some of it that can be used as parking but now we have a, uh, a community gathering place in front of H.R. Uh, McMillan's statue and the Outlook looking at a fantastic view out to the ocean. Yeah. yeah, and we have a museum there and the museum that has a new addition that's going to have an information centre. So that key portion of Chimenez is our first big step in the revitalization plan. Uh, this year we're also going to do some work on Willow Street to make the, the sidewalks more pedestrian friendly, improve, we're working with the local business owners, they're going to improve the facades on their building, so it's all going to come together in that next block, uh, that's going to be a big improvement. We have uh, roadworks, uh, which include building a boulevard, planting a lot of trees on Chimanus Road from our, our current entry at the roundabout at the bottom of Henry, Perfect. right to the theatre. Uh, and we're going to do that in two stages over two years. Uh, we're just held up on that because we have to get a piece of land for so that we can do that. Right. But those root roadworks are part of the revitalization plan and they will really spruce up our entry into Chimanus. But the only downside might be loss of parking. Have you heard comments about that? Yeah, you know, it, it's... I. I think it's something very common to people. They're very, especially business owners, very worried about loss of parking. However, our goal is to have a parking problem. Our goal is to have so many people coming to visit our community that we actually have a problem. Uh, last question, the revitalization, the next phase is uh, over what period of time will they happen, please? Probably uh, they're extended in the budget over the next five to ten years. So they include waterfront improvements. So one of the things about North Cowichan, we have a long waterfront, but we don't have a lot of access to it. Chimanus, we have Kim Beach Park, which is a beautiful little park, but it's a very small access onto the waterfront. So we have a plan for a waterfront walkway. The, you know, we have one in Crofton already. We'd like to do one. We have a key piece of property that has access to a water lot lease um, just north of the healthcare center and we are planning a public amenity there, which could have a fishing dock, could have a marina. Uh, so that's in the future too, over that five to 10 year period. Right. So yeah, so we have a lot planned. The Cowichan Pipes and Drums will be leaving this fall to represent the Cowichan Valley in Beijing and Shanghai, and maybe even performing at the Great Wall in China. I caught up with them at rehearsal. 
The trip to China this fall for the Cowichan Pipes and Drums will take about $120,000 to fund, so members are hoping that you will attend some of their activities. There's going to be a special St. Patrick's Day celebration on Saturday, March 14th at 5.30 p.m. at the Valley Seniors Organization. That's at 198 Government Street in Duncan. And there's also going to be an April Merchandise Bingo, April 26th from 1 to 4 p.m. also at the Valley Seniors in Duncan. Coming up, the path to healthy living. Stay with us. Thanks for joining us on the program, and we hope to see you next time. From Old Town in Shemanus, I'm Daphne Good. Women's clothing provided by Tulip Noir. Casual designer fashions. Men's wardrobe by DG Bremner & Co. Menswear and accessories. Hair services provided by Salon J. The trip to